organization has won four of those, recorded three one-two finishes, and led a total of 250 laps. I'd say they enter as the favorites. Okay, I'm impressed. Harvick's got the stat thing down. You guys are in good hands. It's going to be a fun <laughs> afternoon, Shannon. Something I like, like your sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Harvick giving Adam a hard time. He's hired anytime he wants to take over the broadcast. He, of course, has done this many times, so I know he'll be fine up there. You see him. He just got the pull for qualifying in the Cup Series. Eric Jones getting ready. Ryan Y'all hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure if you the room, you just come back for your history because uh, when I list it just for a little bit, it's still live, so I don't expect that. The only way you'll be able to find it is your search history if you leave because it's not listed yet. I'll re list it here in just a bit. Looks like other people streaming, so they're going to start doing takedowns. I prefer they get hit first and me. <laughs> Enjoy the race, everybody. right there now. Yeah. Hey, did you know Michael's birthday's on Monday? It is. Happy yeah. birthday, Michael. There you go. High five. He was five. born when the Dead Sea was just sick. <laughs> and there they are. Oh, both with the sunglasses on. You going to wear those all race, Bubba? No. No there sunglasses. I want to see those eyes like I did at Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We're going to have so much fun today. The guys, I think last time we did it was in Pocono. I do think that they were a little anxious. They didn't really know what to expect. But I think this time they're going to be really, they're not going to know what to expect. But I, I could even <laughs> see that at our production meeting last night. They were just a lot more loose than they were last year at Pocono. Yeah. But everything was unknown. There, there was no tempest to go by. And four ten thousandths of a second is what the margin of victory was at Daytona, the last uh, plate track. So it'll be interesting. Of course, Brad Keselowski, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. will be up here with us. They're currently making their way up. So, uh, you know, there's, do you think there's something about the last name Wallace? I'm maybe not something, sure. maybe a Bubba or a Herm, and when you get those two together. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This, this could take us all the way to the green flag. Oh, boy. Are you, are you down there, Kenny? I am, and I'm going to talk to my brother, the other Wallace. So, Bubba, this is your first time being a pit reporter, but I know that the real pit reporter, Vince Welch, is right here. Has he taught you anything yet? Yeah, he just said free roam. Say whatever you want to say. You only get one shot at being on TV once. Say whatever you want to say. Did you really say that? I, I told him. I said, it's the Michael Walter uh, philosophy. You can say anything you want on TV. 
once. One thing I learned, I, when I was a kid, I would lay in the, in the bus while I was racing cup, and I'd say, here he comes for four tires and Unical gasoline. Have you practiced that? I was legit just in the bus watching the driver's uh, only broadcast from Pocono last year, trying to learn what they said. It seemed like pretty easy, so I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to save that all for when race time comes about. Are you going to share your experiences on the racetrack with them? I might. You never know. You run second the Daytona 500. I did. I did. They better do better. <laughs> <laughs> Should he share experiences? I, my only advice to him was just be yourself. You know, I mean, he, Bubba knows as much. Really good young racers that are stepping it up. Add Matt Tiff to the conversation now. Matt Tiff has been great all day. What an impressive run for Matt Tiff. From Hinkley, Ohio, so growing up in the Cleveland area, so always was a huge Cleveland sports fan. You kind of grow up as a diehard in that area. You know, not the biggest racing area in the world, but that was always my love and passion. But at the same time, man, I, I love my Browns, which is crazy, my Indians and Cavs, so always been a hometown guy. One really neat thing I got to do a couple years ago was sign my name uh, on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame celebrity wall there. So I think I'm next to uh, the band 311 and Taylor Swift on there. So pretty neat to say I've uh, I put my, my mark on that wall. In middle school, somewhere between 7th and 8th grade, my mom goes, oh yeah, I signed you up for Mandarin Chinese. So it turned out that I took four years of Chinese and I used to be able to speak it fluently. Wo jiao tong mu shu. 
That's, uh, that's my name in Chinese. Man, he's got so much going on. And listen, I know that this is not his first start here at Talladega, but I did mention that 15 drivers are making their first starts in Talladega in the Xfinity Series. So, Larry, I want you to look at wherever your camera is, over it here, right? over there. Yeah, I want you to look right there, and I want you to tell me what you would say to those drivers if you were their crew chief and giving them advice. Well, I, I think about, Go. hang on, <laughs> hang on. I think about two of those 15 drivers, Austin Sendrick and Christopher Bell. Lap 10, they were in trouble at Daytona in February. So what I'm going to tell them is, you know what? We can't win this race on lap 10, the end of stage one, the end of stage two, or even with 25 to go, but you can make a move that can flat end our day, and we'll be in the garage area with a torn up race car. Don't tear my race car up. You're so mean. That's it. Is that how you talk to your drivers? That's how I talk I'm to really everybody. I'm really glad I don't have a fire suit and a helmet on right now. <laughs> All right, we got Brad here. Come on, we're going to move him in. Brad, come on and move in. We got Ricky here as well. So everybody, the party is going to get started here in just a few minutes. My man. So make sure you stick around. We'll be right back after the break, and, and it's their jobs now. I brought my notes. There you go. I'm using it. So, what's new? We just switched to Geico and got more. More. They've been saving folks money for over 75 years. A company you can trust. Geico even helped us with homeowners insurance. More sounds great. Got a little more. Right, honey? Yeah! Geico. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. Can you feel it? You're connected to the World Cup. It's in your DNA. You may not speak the language or have visited the country. You may not know their heroes. Hey y'all, sitting in those copycat rooms. <clears throat> I've got my channel listed. You can come to the real Papa Smurf. Just follow that Twitter link above. Thank you. Section PU 402, row 41. Jimmy Johnson, the pass is good in the way. Section 104, row 4. Blaney got it the first win. Section 25, row 3. What a year for Bubba. Section O, row 25. Section 156, row 4. Kurt Busch, the million of the back friend. Section 233, row 1. Martin Truex Jr. wins. You get a seat, but we doubt you'll ever use it. Grab your seats at nascar.com slash tickets today. Welcome back to Talladega Super Speedway. It is year two for our little experiment called Drivers Only. Last year we did it at Pocono. This year we are doing it on the track, on the circuit's biggest racetrack, the most unpredictable racetrack. As you can see, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. has moved in as well as Brad Keselowski. Brad, I have been mentoring, so you're going to do me right, right? I'm you're ready. Gonna, I'm you're ready. Gonna, you're going to prove me, prove that I am a good teacher, right? Absolutely. Okay. Let's do this, Shannon. All right, let's do it. So who, what do you have to do right now? We got to toss it to Adam. Adam, <laughs> tell me who else is in this party. Okay, well, evidently Barb's in the party. <laughs> this is really, this is really impromptu. Is Talladega unpredictable? Do we all agree that Talladega is no. unpredictable? It turns out that uh, our drivers only broadcast is a little unpredictable as well. Harvick's not here. That means uh, you're the captain of the ship. We're running a little late here, but uh, <laughs> we're doing, Harvick wanted to be a show off and, and yes. get the pole, and, and here we are now. We're. Uh, Trying to make it Talladega. Happen. You have to bob and weave. And, and, <laughs> whether you're on the racetrack, whether you're in the infield last night, which I think I saw you in <laughs> there. <laughs> you just have I to just be made able a to pass go through. with the flow and have some fun. We will have fun today. Harvick will be here shortly. Until then, you're in charge. First thing, you got to get it down to the pit reporters. We can do that. I think Regan Smith has got some stuff down there. Let's go talk to him. Hey, I, I do, Joey. Thanks for throwing it down here to us. Eric Jones, you came back for a second year. You did this at Pocono with us last year. I take my job very serious, so I have a, uh, a, a really good set of notes for you to use today right here. That's all you need to know. I appreciate that, man. That's some really good advice. It'll be fun. Jamie, Ryan, what do you guys think? And so normally, Hello. these are the notes that I'd have. This is my man, Ryan Blaney, here. So this is normally what I do. But now that we have Blaney, the true professional driver, Ryan, yeah. we could throw those out, oh. man. It's all about knowledge that's, and what you that's see. That's debris caution right debris there. Debris right there. You we better, could do that. I could do that now. Oh, you can do that? They're blowing into the wind. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to bring us your A game today? This is round two. Thank you for picking those up for us. It's her fault. Um, but thanks for having me. I'm excited. It should be uh, should be a good day to watch some Talladega. And, and these great Xfinity drivers, I'm, I'm really pumped up. We're excited to see you uh, in victory lane, though. You drew it out of the hat. I did. Uh, I'll be there again. So last time I interviewed in victory lane, I, I won the next day. So maybe we can replicate that. That'd be kind of fun. Bring a little bit of luck. This guy doesn't have much to say, but when he talks, 
He means something. Yeah. Um, uh, but I'm out of stuff to say now, so I guess we'll see what what uh, Bubba Wallace Jr. <laughs> and Vince have to say. <laughs> well, you saw all those others. They had a bunch of notes and everything. Nah, we don't need no stinking notes. We don't notes. need notes. What do we need notes for? Hey, um, have fun. We'll Bubba's do. already signed more autographs, has already signed more autographs, and uh, has more fans around than uh, than I ever had. So yeah. have fun. We'll Remember, do. you can say anything you want. What are they going to do, fire you? Yeah, fire me. So out. what do you think? Are you ready to roll? I'm ready as I'll ever be. I just want to look at this fan base we got here. It's good to be back in Mobile, or good to be back in Talladega, coming from Mobile Native here. we got a great fan base in the stands for the Xfinity race. i got a special group of fans right here behind the camera. My guys on the 43 car. They're pitting for the 11 of Ryan Truex today. They're right here. They're pumped up for me, so we'll toss it back up to the uh, hotel. Shannon, we're in a lot of trouble today. I don't know. That's what I got from this. Ricky, what are we going to do? Larry got me my notes. I got stages, pit road speed, and fuel. So you're going to be, be the organized. Called, That's good. called the race analysis got right it. there. Yeah. So Ricky's going to be the organized one. Shannon's going to help get me all with this papers <laughs> straight. And you know what? We like to have fun up here in the Hollywood Hotel. Oh, yeah. And we are never accused of not having a good time. So I know you guys were down on the boulevard last night. I, I got some <laughs> of these for I you guys. Go ahead. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll take on one. See, I mean, we're in Holiday, right? Ricky can actually teach me about strategy because right? I was wrong about his strategy. That's the great thing. You can be That's wrong right. here and it doesn't matter. That's good. That's good. Yes, we are excited. Right, here you go, Brad. It's all you. All right, it's time to go down track side. Let's get the national anthem and the prayer and get going. Here at Talladega Super Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats as the Alabama National Guard presents our national colors. Please remain standing as Bill Robertson of Alabama Raceway Ministries offers today's invocation. Let's bow with me as, you, as we pray. Father, we thank you so much for this beautiful day that you've given us. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who gives us eternal life. We invite your presence to be with us here today. We ask for your protection for the drivers, the crew members, the track staff, and for the fans that they would enjoy the race today. Thank you for our military men and women who are serving here at home and abroad, and we ask for your protection for them and also their families. Thank you, Father, for your blessings, and we commit this day to you. We ask these things in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, please welcome 17-year-old singer-songwriter from Bethesda, Maryland, Kaylee Delaney, accompanied by signer Tabitha Sperling, senior student of Alabama Institute for Deaf and Blind, as they perform our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight Lights last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we. Some Strivers about to get buckled in. When we come back, Daniel Hemrick will lead us to the green here at Talladega Super Speedway. It's the drivers only broadcast live on Fox. I accept I don't bike the miles I used to. 
I even accept I have a higher risk of stroke due to AFib, a type of irregular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. But no matter where I ride, I go for my best. So if there's something better than warfarin, I'll go for that too. Eliquis. Eliquis reduced the risk of stroke better than warfarin, plus had less major bleeding than warfarin. Eliquis had both. Don't stop taking Eliquis unless your doctor tells you to. As stopping increases your risk of having a stroke, Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve or abnormal bleeding. While taking Eliquis, you may bruise more easily, and it may take longer than usual for any bleeding to stop. Seek immediate medical care for sudden signs of bleeding, like unusual bruising. Eliquis may increase your bleeding risk if you take certain medicines. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. I'm still going for my best, and for Eliquis. Ask your doctor about Eliquis. They say, in New York, two skyscraping beasts send balls screaming through the air like an F-18. In L.A., one opens the heavens with his back, while the other is dominating by the bay. Today on FS1. Visit 321 Lawnmower Sales and Service in Maiden, North Carolina, your premier lawn care and equipment specialist with factory trained and certified technicians and friendly staff. Memorial Day weekend is a time for remembrance and honor. And this Memorial Day weekend, we'll salute our troops like no one else. At the Coca-Cola 600, Sunday, May 27th. The most patriotic day in racing starts with an amazing pre-race concert by country superstars, the Eli Young Band. Another line in the storied history of America's home for racing, Charlotte Motor Speedway. The Coca-Cola 600, Sunday, Memorial Day weekend in Charlotte. There's nothing like it. Talladega Super Speedway, Brad Keselowski, Ricky Stenhouse in the Hollywood Hotel. You've heard enough from us. Let's talk to our guys up in the booth. Joey Logano, Clint Boyer, I still got my beats. Thanks, Shannon. Waiting on Kevin Harvick. Guys, what's going on up there? Where's Kevin at? Kevin, well, here. We got Kevin right here. He's ready to go. <laughs> there he is. Kevin, what do you think about the race? How's it going to be today? <laughs> He didn't have much to That's say. It's the, the first time Harvick hasn't had much to say, but uh, <laughs> we're ready coming. to go. He's coming. He's on his way. I saw the motorcade coming. Yeah, so we're, we're ready. we got a lot, uh, a lot of action. It's Talladega. A lot of things uh, for action on the racetrack. A lot of inexperience today. Uh, Clint, what do you think is going to happen, man? Uh, first of all, what a beautiful day for a race. Uh, beautiful weekend. We've had a lot of fun last night on the boulevard. I went for a jog this morning. Everybody, the infield is packed. The campers are, are here ready to watch this Xfinity race. The guys, uh, the competitors. This car is producing some great racing for this racetrack, and I think we're in for a, for a good one today. We will always be in for a good one, Talladega. And to add more to that, the dash for cash. Yes. $100,000 for these guys. So we got a lot of things going on here. Yeah, looking forward to it. And there's Harvick. He's here. He is coming in the door. <laughs> that is awesome. So, uh, yeah, we are ready to go up here. It's going to be a, a great one. It's going to be there aggressive racing. Mike's hot. And Mike's here he hot. is. Welcome All right. to Mr. Harvick. Show well, thank you. I may have missed a few buttons, kind of sweating, but yeah, that was, uh, that was a good way to start qualifying. So you guys got it all covered, right? We were uh, scrambling for a while, but we're doing good now. Why well, you, you got some more material for us? I do. <laughs> yeah. Let me find it, though. <laughs> I can't hear anything. So well, you guys, we, got, going on. we got 45 seconds before the command here. With this. Well, I was I was with you in spirit. Yes. And I think as as you look at that, I think that that was strong. <laughs> I meant I meant well as as I was uh, coming up the stairs. So. How was, your, uh, how was your lap out there? My lap was, was pretty uneventful, actually. So how about the first lap? First lap eventful. was eventful. I didn't know whether to slow down for the caution flag. And then I got to turn one, and I said, there has been a wreck in qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> and it happens to be my teammate. So didn't work out very good. Well, that's awesome. So we're getting ready for the command here in a few minutes. It's going to be a great race today. It's going to be aggressive racing, $100,000 on it. So let's go down and get the command. 
Race fans, it's time for the most famous words in motorsports. Here to give the command, please welcome our Grand Marshal, a great friend of Sparks Energy, Wayne Sternberg. Drivers, start your engines. And we are geared up here at Talladega, ready to go. We got uh, the motors fired up and we'll be right back. So, only a few minutes away from driver intros, uh, starting the race here at Talladega, 19. So we got some work to do, but uh, as everyone knows, where you start at these places does not matter. And uh, two wins on a strict play races, so I feel like we got pretty good shot. Um, we got Bubba as our pit road reporter, so um, hopefully we do a better job on the track than he's going to do on pit road. So I'm um, sorry to all the 16 fans if he embarrasses us. Powerful. When everything's connected, it's simple, easy, awesome. And the safety for most parallel, parallel parking job goes to... Emily LaPierre from Ames, Iowa! This is Emily's third operation and first win. Wow. <laughs> wow. Um, uh, first of all, to my fellow nominees, it is an honor sharing the road with you. And of course, to the Progressive Snapshot app for giving good drivers the discounts no one deserves. For giving good drivers the discounts they deserve. Safe driving! Introducing the new 2018 Ford F-150. With best in class towing, best in class payload, and best in class torque. The F-150 lineup has the capability to get big things to big places big time. And things just got big. F-150 is now the French 2018 truck of the year. This is the new 2018 Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, pal. It is the bar. Yes, Doctor. Back, sir. Make a donation to St. Jude. How much would you like to donate? It's gonna be okay. 19, 20. Alexa, tell everyone ready or not. Here I come. Announcing in all rooms. I wonder where they could be. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the extra crispy curd. Bronze and golden new and tasty. Got the close up of the crispy curd. That's the name of the sandwich. Because it's extra crispy like me. Cut back to the sandwich, then cut to me. Cut close on the sandwich, cut close on me. That's too close. Thanks. Let me hear them product attributes. Get the new crispy kernel sandwich with all the fixings for just five dollars. Some things should never change, like the crisp cold refreshment of Bush. But some things should, like Tim's impatience. Play dead or Tim. Man, we walked 
once you Daytona put on a show, if you had nine lives, you used them all there at the end. With two laps to go, you were the caution. Come back after three green white checkers and almost won that thing. Uh, what do you got for him today? What's your strategy? Well, we got a really good uh, one mate financial Chevy. Uh, you know, we have to drop to the rear of the field, so I got to I think I remember the last time you won here when I was uh, backed into the wall. So, you <laughs> hopefully you have a good one today. Uh, you know, you're, you're definitely uh, one of the best speedway racers there is, especially out there on the racetrack today. We know you're going to get your way back up there. Do you go right off the bat, or are you just going to feel it out, see what the track and the pack looks like, and then try to pick your way through? Well, I'm going to kind of try to see what the pack looks like. Uh, practice yesterday was a lot different. The one I was used to was a lot of yellow bumpers out here. And trying to figure out who can do what and the experience of these guys. So if they want to go to be too aggressive too early, I, I kind of got to take my time. Uh, but we're kind of going to play about here. We know we want to be in, in front of the mess if it happens, Joy. So, you know, we just got to play right here, see what he goes. We're not going to have good pit stops. We got a really fast car, but we got to have something at the end to make it happen. And then hopefully we'll play our cards correctly and, and be there when it counts. And hopefully you guys have fun in the booth today. And do as good a job as you did last year, and I don't know if one of y'all can take care of I don't know who's responsible for taking care of Cliff for you, but good luck today. <laughs> we need all the luck we can. We know you're going to do a good job. Keep them tight down there and do a good job. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Have a good one. All right, thanks, uh... All right, guys, let's go down to our pit reporters, and our first one, Eric Jones. Hey guys, I'm down here with Christopher Bell's team, and really interesting story for him coming off a lot of momentum at Richmond last weekend with his win. But back to Daytona earlier this year, only ran 11 laps before getting caught up in her accident. So not a lot of experience in these race cars on the restrictor plate track. So I'm excited to keep an eye on him today and see if he can make his way to the front. Ryan? Hey, everybody. I'm down here at the 22 pit. And Austin Sinek starting 11th today. And first time ever uh, here in an Xfinity car at Talladega. And he had some trouble at Daytona earlier this year, getting caught up in a wreck. But they're really optimistic about today. Uh, this team has won the three different drivers this year. So hopefully Austin will make it forward. Brother, what do you got? Hey guys, I'm standing here in the 21 box of Daniel Hemrick. We heard from the rear of the pack with Elliot Sadler, but let's leapfrog to the front with Daniel Hemrick, see what their team has for today, if they have the mental toughness to survive 113 laps here at Talladega. Back up to you guys in the booth. Well, technically, Mr. Wallace, Elliot Sadler is in the front of the pack, but he will race <laughs> from the back of the pack. But hey, that's okay. We know, we know you still have your rookie stripe. Here you see our race analysis. Uh, this is just a big old racetrack. And, and you know, as you run uh, 300 miles here, it only takes 113 laps, 25 laps in the first stage, 63 laps in the final stage. And that is short. That is short, guys. They're real short. You don't have to make a pit stop. You can almost get to the second stage without making a pit stop. And as we look at our track map, here, track map here, I think it looks so easy as you're driving around by yourself. It's very wide. It's very um, The number one thing easy. that I see there is a the start-finish line. Everybody, we've all been there. You come off a four and that magical push at the end of the race. You think you've got that run. You get to the trial, you're like, oh, my. There's a lot of real estate left to get to that start-finish line. It's really, really tricky to time it right for the line. Yeah, but right there, you just saw it 43 feet wide. It's a wide racetrack, and there's a lot of room to make moves and to wake your way back up to the front. But you have to make big blocks. It's a lot of racetrack to keep yourself up front. Yeah, and I, I think one of the most interesting things about this racetrack is it almost lulls you into thinking everything's okay. And then as the race goes on, it progresses, and the pushing and shoving becomes more and more and more. So it's a hard race to balance what you need to do. Yeah. Well, one of the good. things I see right off the bat here, guys, I see 10, count of 10, Chevrolets in the top 10 in the qualifying right here. So it's going to be interesting to see how they do in the draft versus the other manufacturers. So we're going young or old. What do you got, boy? You know we like the old guys. I'm, I'm going to go for the young guys. I don't know where I fit into that, but I like the young guys. There's going to be a lot of aggression out there. You're a tweener. I'm a tweener. <laughs> That's right. But there's a lot of money on the door on the uh, sideline here. So here we go. Well, here we go. Green flag. Dash for cash. Talladega. Youth and very little experience. And automatically you see the 42 pushing Daniel Hamrick to try to get out front and uh, and clear that inside lane. But more importantly, you see the leader chose that outside line to have that push, and obviously it's working out well for him. And that's what those restarts are all about. I, I think, Kevin, you... you
pick the car that you feel like is going to give you the best push. And maybe not the inside or the outside. It's whoever is behind you and where you line up. And we see Daniel Hemrick at the front of the pack already kind of leaning towards the bottom a little bit, back to the top. We know we changed the noses on these particular cars. How much did that change the, the speed of the block, Joey, as far as how fast they come up on you? premiered it uh, and started it, but these bumpers used to hook right up and you'd push each other. Now it's harder to get to. It's more like the cup cars. There's that imaginary bubble, I call it, and as the cars get closer to each other, it kind of slows down the car behind and pushes that lead car up ahead. So the blocks actually happen a little bit slower now than what they used to. You guys are putting on a clinic in Daytona, those blocks. It, it was fun <laughs> while it lasted, wasn't it? It was a lot of fun. We had a good time. But right off the bat, you see some three-wide action. You see those cars in the back. They're going to be anxious. And there's Elliot Sadler up there already trying to make some moves because uh, he wants to get out of that hornet's nest as quick as he can. And I just happened to be looking into turn two, and it looked like Elliot Sadler was running 20 miles an hour than the rest of the field with that momentum from the back of the pack because that, that's one of the things that happens at the beginning of these races is you get that huge momentum from the back because everybody's on different agendas, and especially when you have a fast car like Elliot, you come up through there like, oh, man, I got him. Yeah. And, then, and, and Elliot Sadler, he's got so much experience, he can make some very aggressive moves and know that someone will go with him because people are going to follow the cars they feel most comfortable with, and I don't think you can follow a better car than Elliot Sadler out here today. The biggest thing I see right off the bat watching these cars is just the width, how much wider this track is than what we saw in Daytona with these restricted weight tracks. It's Davos, Elliot Sadler, as you see right here, coming up through the middle comfortably and making moves and making passes up the front. And I get the feeling that he knows we're watching. <laughs> because, I, I mean, that's not normal Elliot Styles. Elliot's uh, style as, as you can come from the back. Usually he'd sit back there and kind of ride. Here we go, look at the 60. Uh, this is where bump drafting gets a little bit risky. And you see the 60 get a little looser. Elliot's burned up the back off as soon as he gets there. But that's something that, you know, Clint and, and Harvick, you guys know, you got to get to that right side a little bit and still allow a little bit of downforce on that car. And here you see a push for John Hunter Nemechek from Justin Elgar. Now there's a guy, Justin Elgar, that knows how to, how to draft. He's always up front at these racetracks. And he's in one of those junior motorsports cars. We've seen it time and time again over the years that those cars are extremely strong. You saw that right there. So one slip up, they kind of stacked everybody up in the way that outside line comes. And look at the momentum they lose. It's, it's, they just keep eating them up left and right. And that, that middle became the sucker hole. I've heard Darrell Waltrip say that several <laughs> times. <laughs> the middle became the sucker hole for the 42. And you see these cars back here, uh, of Ryan Truex and Elliott Taylor, how tight they are here. They're building that energy, and it's going to push them ahead. Uh, unless Ryan Root just steps out and goes to get over here, uh, and we'll see if he gets any help. And I see Ryan Reed up there up on the inside, and I think as you look at his super speedway results at Daytona, they're the exact opposite here. And, and, and a lot of times that's just dumb luck. But, you know, Talladega has definitely not been uh, the, the finishes that he's been looking for because really everybody in this race looks at this particular race as this is my weekend. This is the chance I have to win a race. And, and from 1st to 40th, everybody in this race truly believes they have a chance to win. And I believe that they do. In the most part, I think there's a 25, 30 cars that have a legitimate shot of, of getting in the right situation, maybe taking advantage of, of a mishap on somebody else's part and winning this race. By the way, Elliot Sadler's fourth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, Elliot Sadler
Taylor has overcome everything already from the back all the way up to fourth place. So we'll see if he can continue. And the wolf huffed and puffed. Like you do sometimes, Grandpa? Well, when you have COPD, it can be hard to breathe. It can be hard to get air out, which can make it hard to get air in. So I talked to my doctor. She said... Simbacord could help you breathe better, starting within five minutes. Simbacord doesn't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden symptoms. Simbacord helps provide significant improvement of your lung function. Simbacord is for COPD, including chronic bronchitis and emphysema. It should not be taken more than twice a day. Simbacord contains for motorol. Medicines like Promoterol increase the risk of death from asthma problems. Simbacort may increase your risk of lung infections, osteoporosis, and some eye problems. You should tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Simbacort could mean a day with better breathing. Watch out, Piggy. <laughs> Get Simbacort free for up to one year. Visit SaveOnSimbacort.com today to learn more. If you can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. More and more people are finding themselves in a Chevrolet for the first time. Trying something new can be exciting, empowering, downright exhilarating. See for yourself why Chevrolet is the most awarded and fastest growing brand the last four years overall. Switch into a new Chevy now. Current competitive owners can get $5,000 below MSRP on this 2018 Equinox when you finance with GM Financial. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. So, what's new? We just switched to Geico and got more. More. They've been saving folks money for over 75 years. A company you can trust. Geico even helped us with homeowners insurance. More sounds great. Got a lot more. Right, honey? Yeah! Geico. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. Springtime is the time to buy a new Polaris. Right now, the world's best-selling side-by-sides and ATVs are priced to move. With rebates as high as $1,200. Get more at Polaris.com. Delivery should look like this. Crisp leaves of lettuce, freshly made dressing, clean food that looks this new. Eating at your desk. Panera. Food as it should be. Now delivered. NASCAR Xfinity Series Racing is sponsored by GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Uh, race strategy going into turn one is to make it to turn three. And if I can do that for every lap, I'll be, uh, I'll be good to go for the race. With the restrictor place, we're coming up to speed, so uh, you're kind of thinking of that first strategy of what's going to happen going into turn one. We might just follow the rear and uh, let, let everything kind of play out. It's going to be so fast and exciting. I uh, hope we can just be there at the end. A lot of unpredictable this weekend with the only Xfinity drivers in the field. I feel like that's the strategy of the whole race. Everybody's strategy is different. And you guys, like a lot of them are just trying to stay alive. <laughs> and, and, and based upon Daytona and, and, and the uh, Daytona race last year, you know, I think it's probably a pretty good strategy. I like Ryan Seek's strategy there. Let's just let's just try to make it survive here. Yeah, right. kind of what we see right now is everyone's freight training up against the wall, running a bunch of speed, trying to put some laps off, getting closer to the end of the stage, and then the uh, the intensity will definitely pick up. Mr. Wallace, what do you have on the one car for us down there? coming from the back to get up inside the top 10. Once you do crack the top 10, you see a little bit more bull moves and block in it. They come more aggressive when you get there. But the one car is uh, pretty happy with his car. He said he likes the ride for whatever that means. Ryan, what do you got? Yeah, I got a little bit on time. Majeski's his first ever time at a first triple play racetrack. Things got a little bit hairy for him, and he said he had a bailout. So he's really trying to get with this spotter, trying to figure out what he's doing right and wrong, and just trying to learn and lots and lots right now. Hey, Blaney, feel free to look at the camera when we're talking about you next time. <laughs> oh, I didn't know it was on before. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey guys, you got something on the 60th time you just... <laughs> well, you look comfortable. <laughs> I was looking at the big screen. You know, as a, as a competitor, if you're up front, you kind of like this single file when they get up there. Against the, I call this Dale Jr. line. You know, and get up there and run like this. But as a fan, even in the booth already, I'm like, hey, man, I want to see some booths. And Kevin, I know you don't like 
fifth either. If you're back there, even farther than fifth, you're going to make a move to the bottom. Well, let's go down to Eric Jones. And Eric, please look at the camera while you're uh, giving your uh, report here. Uh, yeah, I gotta find the camera there first. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Tyler Reddick, he's a, a good super speedway racer. Won Daytona earlier this year. Uh, won in the truck series as well a couple years ago at Daytona. He's content right now, just riding in line. Seems to be happy with how his car's driving and uh, looking to make his move here later in the race. Well, as we, as we have a little bit of a break here and, and get close to the end of the first stage, we've got 14 of the 25 laps. Let's uh, let's go down and see if there's anything happening in the hotel. I don't want those guys to go to sleep down there. Sleep. All right. All right. We're not. Ricky and I are in the hotel. Actually, what I was thinking is they single filed out. I'm not sure if that's a smart move, Ricky, because this stage, as you were telling me, you can make the whole stage in gas. We will not see a pit stop in this stage if they stay green. Yeah, they're going to get spread out, obviously, here before too long, but I think one of the things that I studied all night long, Larry Mack and I stood up all night and studied our notes. Five Chevrolets in the top five. They've only won two out of the last ten races, the Chevrolets. So they're looking back, they're looking to get back to victory lane. Well, here, here's the question I have from the booth up here. I, I see uh, some styrofoam containers over there. Is that, is that your friend? I mean, did you, did you not get to eat? I haven't got my ice cream yet. Are you done yet? Eats very well. I got some healthy food. <laughs> Life is good here in the Hollywood Hotel. It's, it's pretty much called the hotel. I got my chips and guac too. Well, so. just know that we, we are getting pizza delivered to our.